Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, or the Theme Park Evangelist. Last Tuesday, I was not feeling good, but I still really wanted to go to my public service awards. So, you're probably wondering what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to answer that question and a few others. What am I going to answer? What is the public service awards? Why did I go? And why is it important? Well, let's start with what is the public service awards. Public service awards is an annual event that takes place in every single district. There's at least five districts for Publix. And as you guys know, I've been with Publix for some time, actually almost six years. I officially hit my five year mark last Tuesday. And they have you come to your store that you work at, you clock in, and then you carpool with a bunch of people out to the uh, district meeting location uh, for Lakeland, which is the district I work in. I go out to uh, Lake Ashton, which is actually not far from my house, nor my store for that matter. So it was actually really nice. And they have you come in, and you have your uh, temporary name tag on the uh, table. And you grab that, and they have a photo booth, I guess. I never actually really paid attention to it, to be honest. Pardon my uh, bouncing up and down my phone. Hmm. So after that, we took some uh, shots. Uh, the district manager and my boss. I'm not going to show you guys any of my uh, photos because it's personal. But I, will, I do want to tell you guys about it. So I walked over to my table. And my gift that I had chosen, which is a video camera. Don't have it with me right now because it is in the other room. And I can't figure out how to get it to work. So I'm going to have someone look at it for me. Kay's best friend, Dell, by the way, is going to look at it. Um, for me sometime and figure out why it's not working but it was really nice you know it was a uh, my five-year gift completely free and uh, it came with a little um, whatever you call it pin that I can wear right here on my shirt except that will be my green uh, Publix polo shirt not my t-shirt that I got for free from them which is what I'm wearing right now and then there is a name sorry not name tag but a placemat there with my uh five years of service on there and there was also a picture uh, near the wall that had my uh, five years of service it was something that I had taken in my store so that was really nice and I was already expecting that and that was only taken a few months ago so we sat there and they had a DJ that was uh, playing music the whole time kind of switched from the 80s back to uh, today's music and the rain is around there and that was really enjoyable uh, Publix Aprons, there was a store uh, in the Lakeland District that drove all the way out there to provide us a really nice dinner. They had a uh, chicken and steak, Caesar salad, uh, broccoli and asparagus, and they had two ginormous cakes. One was like a chocolate eclair cake, very rich, and the other one was a uh, white cake with strawberry filling. Uh, that one was way better. And then they had water and sweet tea. I was super sick, so I kept drinking water. And then they had coffee, which I had one cup of because I was a little tired myself. Other than that, um, we played some games. They did some trivia. One of the easiest ones, which was question number two, named this song. And it was... Uh, hold on, give me a second. Oh, yeah, Def Leppard. No, no. Was it Def Leppard? I'm very sure it's Bon Jovi. Yeah, it was Bon Jovi living on a prayer. Okay, good, I'm still rolling. Make sure I'm not zoomed in or anything. <laughs> Sorry, it's always annoying filming with my phone. I cannot wait to get my video camera working. And then they even asked us how many public stores there are all together. It's almost 2,000 from what I remember, or just a little over 1,000. I don't remember the number because it was like last week they mentioned it. All that stuff went shoo out my ears. And they showed us some videos on how important our company is. Um, I think we also did another game involving the store managers. Other than that, we pretty much wrapped it up. Uh, car pulled back to our stores, clocked out, got in our cars. I came back home and just pretty much rested the rest of the day. But it was that day that I realized why I work for Publix. I mean, yeah, I've known for the past five years or so why I work for Publix, but it just really hit home when 
they do that party, how they pay us to go to this really extravagant party, and they do that same party when you hit your 10 years and your 15 years. Apparently, if you stay in Central Florida, when you hit 20 years, they take you to Disney, they give you an open bar. I uh, hit 25 years, so I'm one of my close friends that just hit 25 years, got to go to the Marriott, and you get to bring a guest, and I also heard that they pay to, excuse me, go to all these events, when, even when you hit 20 and 25 years, and they pay for you to have a hotel, so I would not complain uh, one bit, I don't know how long I'm going to stay at Publix, I am definitely planning on staying another decade, so I'll be a little over 30 <laughs> When I do end up retiring, if I do stay that long, I definitely plan on staying over 10, so I can guarantee that. And I'm only staying with Disney until early next spring, because it depends on whether they will give me the time off for my cruise next year, which I'm still doing, and... Or, I should say, or if they do give me the time off, I'll stay a little longer, and then resign... Because I do want to get ready to move up to uh, the Panhandle. I know I got invited to D23 next year. Just depends on money because I know it's around that time I'm getting ready to move. So I can't promise TJ anything, but I definitely appreciate the invite for certain. I would rather go back to Canada and see my family personally. But that's just me. I probably might. Just because that would be easier on me, especially since over the summer I'd just be working at Publix. I would resign from Disney, visit my family for a few weeks before I get ready to pack and move up. I mean, there might be too much chaos going on next summer with my parents moving to Kentucky and me moving up to the Panhandle. But I'm still going to be the theme park evangelist. I'm still going to come back and visit Central Florida. You can guarantee you that. I'm still going to keep you guys up to date on everything going on in Central Florida. None of that's going to change. I'm just going to be living in a completely different region. So I won't be able to do as many theme park vlogs. And I won't be working for Disney any longer. But TJ will still be. And I heard he's working, or going to be working Universal, possibly this week. He has an interview at Universal on Thursday for attractions. I'll give you, I'll keep you guys posted. And also check my Facebook page frequently because I am getting back to uh, posting on there. A, a lot again. So you, then I will see you guys in the next vlog. Um, I just did my Legoland vlog today. I just did two tonight. I'll let you guys know when I have something new posted. Probably on the Facebook page or I'll just spring on you guys when I'm doing my YouTube channel on here. Just pull out my phone like, hey, decided to do something new today. I do eventually want to go over the Grand Floridian and do another fireworks perspective. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next vlog, and always remember you can do all things through Christ's strength with you. Have a great night, and peace out.